firecracker question. So we've got a firecracker. I'm going to draw it as a circle. But it turns out that it, when it explodes, it explodes into three parts. And what we want to do is figure out some numbers. What's the speed of the third piece? What's the direction of the third piece? The first piece comes out of it, and it has a mass. It says, just says identical masses. And then the other one is a mass of two, right? So I'm going to say the identical mass is a mass of one. So the first part of the coconut, we're going to say, weighs one kilogram. I'm just going to make that up. It, it makes life a lot easier. And it's traveling at... The same speed. So this is moving at 17 meters per second to the west. And the second one is moving to the south, also one kilogram. And it's moving also at 17 meters per second. And the question is, is what's the direction and speed of the third chunk? And the third chunk, it says, has double the mass, right? So we'll say that's two kilograms. And what we want to do is we want to find the speed and the angle that it comes off at. So we're going to use the law of conservation of momentum that says the momentum before is equal to the momentum afterward, but we break it down into its x and y components. So we're going to say momentum, which is this funny looking p, is going to be m before, but let's do the uh, momentum in the x direction. So in the x direction, now notice this is going um, in the negative direction, right? So it has to equal so that's going to say, and remember it's M1, M, 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 V1 or whatever, this is, you know, piece number one, is going to be one kilogram, because I have two, it's one kilogram, times V1, which is, now watch this, negative 17, right? And that has to equal the momentum on the other side, but it has to, well, it has to add up to zero. So what you might think of it this way, you can say plus the momentum of this guy in the x direction. So actually, let's break that down. We know it weighs two kilograms, and we let's call this the final velocity. We don't know what it is, but we were going to break down the x, the vx. It's going to be um, v final times the cosine to the adjacent or yeah, adjacent over hypotenuse of angle theta, right? So that's theta. So I can say it's going to equal to two for the mass. This is m. 2 times the velocity, which will be Vf cos theta. And I got two variables. Well, we, we know this adds up to 0 because the x direction has to add up to 0. So actually, from this point, we can solve for the final velocity, which was one of the questions. We can do this, by the way, in the x direction. It's going to look the same way. I can say py equals 1 also times negative 17, because it's going down, negative direction, plus 2 times vf sine theta, and that's going to equal 0. Well, if you do the math, since these equations are the same, we got cos theta, sine theta. Actually, no, we have two variables, don't we? We don't know what the theta is, and we don't know what the v final is. We got v final and theta, so what we want to do is we want to plug into our equation. We're going to solve for one thing. So let's solve for um, I don't know, the velocity or the theta. I guess I solved for the theta first. So if I want to solve for theta, this equals 0. So I can, let's rewrite this equation. I can say 17 equals, add 17 to both sides, equals... 2 vf cos theta. If I divide both sides by 2 vf cos theta equals this. Right? Yeah. So, oh, but that's sine theta. That's not going to work. All right, sorry. Guys, I wouldn't do it that way. Because cos theta and sine theta aren't the same thing. Let's solve for... Vf. So I can still say 17 equals 2 Vf cos theta. So if I want to solve for Vf, I divide both sides by 2 cos theta, right? 2 cancels, 2 cos theta. So Vf is 17 over 2 cos theta. 
So I can plug that in here. Does that make sense? So then I can say, I want to set this, write this equation. I'll say negative 17 plus 2 times, and Vf is this, 17 over 2 cos theta times sine theta equals 0. Boom. At this stage, what I can do is I can solve for theta, because I have only one variable. Theta is the angle. I just plugged it into my solver as a note on my calculator, and I got theta to be 45 degrees. So it's, it's going to come off at a perfect 45 degrees. I think it's because these were the same exact masses. Yeah, so we come off at a 45 degree angle. That totally makes sense. And then the question is, what speed does it have? Well, guess what? If I know that the uh, in this equation, uh, Vf equals 17 over 2 cos theta, if you put 45 degrees in here, you can find the V final. Right? And that's how you do it.